Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. On this, our last week for this memory verse, I want to look outside the verse a little bit at those preceding verses where it speaks of Christ's role in creation and his authority over all of creation. This reminds me of in Job when he loses everything and he says, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. The Lord has ultimate authority for every molecule of matter, for he made it and he sustains it and he owns it throughout the course of its existence. Everything belongs to him. Everything of which you are made comes from him. Your spirit was given to you by him, and its eternal nature is bestowed upon you by him. He has the right of disposition, the right of ownership of all that makes you, you. He has granted you free will. He has granted you a creation in which to exercise it. But never forget, for even a moment, that his is the authority. His is the right of possessor over so-called your, my life. He is the boss, more than the boss, the maker, in whose hand we continue to breathe. And the instant he removes his attention from us, we dissipate in a puff of smoke as if we never existed, which he will never do. We will continue to exist forever and ever because of his power and his strength and his constant and unwavering attention upon us. He is preeminent in all things. Shake in terror. Rejoice in great joy. For your God is strong and his ownership is complete and his responsibility for you is total. Submit all that you are, all that you have, all that you ever will be to him. Move forward in confidence, not fear. And I'm preaching to myself here that no matter what comes in this life or no matter what has happened in this life, every single movement of every single atom is going completely according to his plan. For he is preeminent. See you next week with a new verse.